Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this sleeve, this dry sleeve in this even block. And I have dry ice uh, chilling the, the cinema liner in the box. Uh, by the way, this is a box within a box. You don't need quite this much dry ice. And uh, what I've done is I've taken the cylinder liner and I've packed in a garbage bag around it. So you know, I pushed the bag all the way through the liner. So I have complete encapsulation and I pack uh, dry ice on the inside and I pack ice around it to get this, this cylinder liner completely chilled. So I'm going to just show how easy it is to put the liner on in if you have this thing chilled. And keep in mind, dry ice has a freezing temperature somewhere right around 100 degrees uh, below zero Fahrenheit. Perfect uh, media to help you put your, your engine block together. I would highly recommend it. Doing it other, any other way is uh, really I'm just asking for trouble. So I'm going to take this on out. The plastic bag sticks a bit to the liner, which is okay. And again, I've got ice packed on the inside of this. I'm going to get all the ice on out. And by the way, the, the bag also wants to stick to the, the, uh, the liner because it's a, a cold packer. So in any case, we're going to go ahead and pull this on out. I'm going to try to pull out this bag. Again, the bag freezes to the side here. And this liner is, again, 100 degrees below zero. And you just go ahead, slide it right in there. Tap it on in. And you're done. The easy way. Well, I can see I just got all the four liners on in. They went in fairly easy. Um, Actually, just drop this one in and you can see a little bit of the frost still um, still on the surface of the liner. So um, everything looks okay so far. So this is uh, one step done. I want to make one minor comment about the sleeve installation. According to the Perkins manual, you're supposed to use a sleeve retainer uh, from uh, Actually, it's like a Loctite product. I think, I can't remember, it's the 644 or something along those lines. And uh, the idea is, is that you need to uh, put the Loctite on uh, like an inch on the bottom and then, of course, an inch on the top. And, you know, you can read all sorts of things on the, on the internet about uh, the benefits of using uh, a sleeve retainer, um, as well as it, it really locks it in place, the sleeve. The bad news is, is that if you use a sleeve retainer, this kind of, this sealant, uh, you're going to have a tough time with um, with uh, getting the you know super chilling the liners at uh, 100 degrees below zero and then sliding them on in there and then trying to put this this the sealant on it. Uh, if you put the sealant on the top or when you, when you put the uh, the sleeves on in, um, it it pretty much goobers up everything along the way. And gets all that sealant on the uh, on the, the sleeve, and uh, it doesn't go where you want it. Uh, through you know trial and error, really the, the best method that I found that works is to go ahead and super chill the liners, slide them on in there, and then uh, back them on out just just the, you know, like a half inch. And uh, once you get the liners on out, by the way, they go in and out easier. Not really easy, but they go in and out easier. Um, and when it, when they, uh, uh, so when you, when you slide them on out about a, a half inch, maybe an inch, uh, put the, the sealant around the, the bottom end, put the sealant around the top end, and then use like a threaded rod to really pull those things back on in. And, and uh, what do I mean by threaded rod? I have a three quarter inch diameter rod that um, uh, you know, threaded rod that's like three foot long, and uh, really you just uh, 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 tighten up the thread. I guess the threader bolt having some a soft surface. I use like aluminum plate on the top of the of the cylinder liner, and uh, I just torqued it on down and, and got it on in. 
Um, I did tap it uh, lightly with a hammer with everything all tightened up. Um, just like a, just like when you removed it, when you hit on the back of the stud, you do a similar approach on the, when you do the install again. They will go in, and at, at the end there, of course, you want to check to make sure your protrusion is right. It should be, at least on this engine, it's somewhere between, I think it's like 27 to, uh, is it 20, is it 28, I think, to 37 thousandths of protrusion. Check it, and if you're, every, everything's okay, you're done. Um, so this is a, it's something uh, that I did, and it's called out in the manual, and um, and I try to you know follow the suit the best I could with um, you know anyway it, it, it's just the way it is. So just that's just an FYI. 